Hello, 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 everybody. Hi. <laughs> so my name is Edith, Each Creation's Great Party. It is Friday night. What, what? And we're doing the tree frog. Oh, yeah, that guy right there. Ribbit, ribbit. With the uh, orchids and the frog and me. And, of course, you know who. Let's give props to him. He's under my feet because there's storms outside. Say a little prayer that uh, my lights stay on. <laughs> so let's say hi to... Mr. Stressing Out, Rockin' and Rollin' Butters, who hasn't stood still for the last uh, hour. So, <laughs> see where his tongue is? Yeah. So, anyway, he's going to be uh, all up in uh, in my area. <laughs> Say hello, hello, hello if you're painting with me tonight. Let me know if anyone's painting with you with me tonight. And uh, we'll get this started. I'm going to show you my handy-dandy table. All right, so of course we have the coffee, and see, there he is. And uh, we have the same colors every single party, white, yellow, red, blue, and black. Tonight's weapons of the evening, we're going to be using Big Boy. He is a one-inch flat. We have Mini-Me in the house. Oh, brand new Mini-Me. He is a small shader. And we have Tiny going on. He is a round for details. And, of course, Mr. Nifty, all right, when you clean your brushes, you want to swirl them, tap them, dab them on your paper towel. You want your bristles to be wet but not dripping. You're in my spot, buddy. <laughs> You're in my spot. <sighs> hello, 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 Diane. How you doing tonight, sweetheart? Hello, 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 Amanda. How are you, my doll? How's everybody doing on this awesome Friday? Uh, like I said, we all have to send uh, energy to Eve's house. That power stays on. <laughs> I hope. I hope so. Uh, those of you following my make em ups journey, I, um, I did like rose and golds and stuff like that. I don't know how to do that like makeup artist look down thing and, and show you and still look like uh look like a normal person but anyway that's my makeup journey hello 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 chrissy how you doing sweetie chrissy's first time live welcome to the family we got kimberly in the house hello 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 kimberly how you doing lovey doll all right so i'm gonna put you guys in your uh handy dandy holder and we'll get this thing started okay so I cannot show you both at once what I'm working on and uh, the finished product. So if you need a reference, take a screenshot so you know where we're going. I'm working on a 16 by 20 canvas. Hi, Lynn. How are you, sweetie? Hello, 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 Lynn. So I am working on a uh, 16 by 20 canvas. It is 20 straight across, 16 up and down, 20 by 16 if you're working on something different or something smaller um that's okay as long as you're in the general area of your canvas that i am in you're going to be fine Alrighty, guys so and if you need um if you need a reference take your screenshot okay and then we're going to get started so i see more people in here and suzanne hello 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 suzanne welcome to the fam Everybody give Chrissy and Suzanne a warm Eve's Creations family welcome. Hello, 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 everybody. I hope everyone's doing well this evening. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Butters, what are you doing? You're in my spot. <laughs> I totally messed up the camera, but that was totally worth it. <laughs> hello, 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 guys. Yes, the frog. The frog is in the house. Yes. All right. So, um, we're going to get it started. All right. I, uh, did I say everything already? Feels like I'm missing something. Oh, well, maybe I did. Hello, 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 Debbie. How you doing, lovey? How are you doing? I hope everyone's doing well on this uh, awesome Friday. Okay, take your screenshots because we're going to get uh, rock on and rolling with this bad boy. Am I early or is people late? Because <laughs> it doesn't seem like anyone's popping on. 
got my Java or my normal fan members are uh, all the regulars all the regulars but that's okay anyway it's the almighty blank canvas oh it's so scary but we're gonna hit it with our almighty brushes yes we are yes we are we're gonna hit it with our almighty brushes so first thing you need to do is uh jones here hello 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 joan how are you doing honey hi carolyn how are you doing love hello 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 joan yep i got storms butters is at my feet i'm gonna be uh tripping and 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 stepping on him and everything he's literally in this corner with me butters you have to move come on get out of there Ooh. he is not moving <laughs> All right, hello, 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 Amanda. How you doing, sweetheart? Okay, so we're gonna swirl tap that big boy. We're gonna swirl tap that big boy. And we're gonna get started. So right in this bottom corner right here, in this bottom triangle you got going on right here, you wanna do um, uh, some blue, a small amount of black, some red, and a microscopic amount of uh, white. Oh, you guys hear that? <laughs> you guys hear that? Wow, that one was close. Hello, 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 Amanda. How you doing, sweetie? That was a close one. Did you guys hear that? That was like right outside my window. <laughs> I just hope the lights don't go out. If the lights go out, guys, we're going to have to resume this at another time. So, um, just pray the or we're going to have to do it by flashlight. One or the other. But anyway, I got red, blue, smidge of black, smidge of white on here. And, uh, you're just going to go, uh, up and down. All right. Now, the tree frog, uh, you know, mine's green, but you can make yours any color you want to. It doesn't really, uh, doesn't really matter. Um, you haven't painted with me for a while, but I make, uh, <laughs> all right, we got to send some happiness towards Lynn. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're going to send happy energy towards you, Lynn, and we're going to stay, uh, we're going to send, uh, Eve's lights stay on, uh, towards me. Okay. <laughs> you guys feeling that? You get, you guys hearing that? Yeah. Amanda, you need uh, healing wishes too? Okay, so everybody send, um, all right, whoo! Healing wishes to Amanda. We need happiness being sent to Lynn, and we need the power stays on to me. <laughs> Is that too much to ask for? I don't know. I have no idea. So, um, yeah, it's been uh, rumbling, rocking and rolling and rumbling, like, for the past uh, hour or so, and um, maybe even longer, and um, I'm, like, right in the middle of it now. So, hopefully, it comes in and goes out without too much, uh, too much of a problem. Um, yeah, but I literally have, like, butter's drool going down my leg right now. <laughs> what's going on over here <laughs> so I'm just going up and down um, I like the separation of color I like the streaks if you like the streaks you're just gonna leave it alone and if you uh, if you want a more blended look then you just keep going over it with your brush hello 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 Marie how are you doing hello 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 Jincy how are you sweetheart Okay, so you want to do this whole bottom uh, triangle here. That's all we're doing. That's all we're doing. Smidge of white, red, blue, microscopic amount of black. I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. We're uh, we're in the middle of a, a thunderstorm, so that's what's going on over here. And like I said, hopefully it uh, blows over without uh, too much disruption. Other than, uh, I gave Butters his medicine, but, um, you know, it's just too close and too loud. 
It's too close and too loud for him. You're doing well? Okay, that's good. Glad you're doing well. Yes, the, the, the storm is uh, is scaring him, Jincy. He doesn't like God. Uh, he doesn't like storms at all. He doesn't like uh, thunder or lightning or fireworks. He doesn't like any of that. And uh, so I gave him his medicine, but I think it's just a little too much because it's like it's literally like right over us right now. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. Um, it's literally like right over us right now. It, it uh. But it seems to be moving out kind of quickly, so fingers crossed. Fingers crossed it blows in and blows out just as, um... Hi, April! How you doing, sweetheart? Hopefully it blows in and blows out just as, uh, you know, it blows it. What am I trying to say? <laughs> Hopefully it blows out as quickly as it blew in. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> I know I was trying to say something. I was trying to say something. Thank you so much, Jincy. Uh, yeah, no, um, there's not much I could do. Uh, he already got his medicine, and he is uh, literally standing uh, right up on, on my feet, but there's not much more I can do for Mr. Butters. That This is as good as it gets. This happens every storm. He'll be okay. Yeah, he doesn't like thunderstorms. He doesn't like thunderstorms or fireworks or any of that sort of stuff. Your one dog was that way too, with, even with the medication. Hello, 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 Tammy. Your Jada is scared of thunder. Yeah, right? Oh, I can put him at now. He doesn't stay still. <laughs> he, uh, he won't let me hold him. Um, be, he doesn't stay still. He just, uh, shakes and look, he's shaking the whole easel right now. Um, he doesn't stay still. I can't sit there and hold him. Okay, April. Well, I hope the phone call comes out as, uh, good news. I hope it comes out as good news. Yeah, Jincy, I can't hold him. He won't stay still. If I try to hold him, he just wiggles his way out to pace around. So, <laughs> he'll be all right. He'll be all right. He's just, he's just kind of like right in the middle of me trying to do stuff, but that's okay. It's okay. <laughs> there's literally like little uh, droop, like there's drool coming down my leg right now. And there's drool on the floor. <laughs> the poor little guy, but... Um, once you have this triangle on, you're going to grab, um, yellow and a whole bunch of white and, uh, some blue, not the blue with the red in it. Okay. So clean blue, yellow and white. Yeah, there's not. Yeah, that's it. Jincy, right at my feet. That's it. That's where he feels the safest. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut across and make this nice and clean. All right, and this is uh, this is the leaf that the frog is sitting on. So you just want to cut that right across. So this all looks clean now, and you don't see those un unfinished edges. Okay, and you're gonna add a lot of white so it covers those unfinished edges. And you can um, take this. The only piece you're not painting is like a corner right up here. That's it. So the rest of the canvas is going to get filled with this uh, leaf color. And like I said, if, um, if you can see your edges from putting in the purple, just add more white to your green. Add more white to your green. And what I wanted to say is if you're, turn, if you're uh, doing your frog green, like it is in the original, then you want to make sure that you're making a green that's going to be different than your frog. Hello, 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 Joanne. How you doing, sweetie? Hi, hello, hello, 
hello, Tammy. How you doing, sweetheart? Everybody give Tammy a warm Eve's Creations family welcome. It's her first time here, too. Yes. <laughs> yes, it's a little chaotic. We got uh, we got uh, storms and a uh, uh, nervous pup going on over here. Uh, usually it's, uh, it's not as chaotic. But you know what? Mother Nature, um, hear her roar, man. She wants to be heard right now. But all I'm grabbing is white, yellow, and blue. And I'm filling in. I'm filling in over the top of those streaks from putting in the purple. And I'm filling in pretty much this whole canvas except for like that corner over there. All right. So I got to grab more paint and everybody can get settled in here. And uh, we'll take care of it. Yeah, I gave him his uh, medicine and peanut butter. Um, I tried playing with him. I tried giving him his treats. And, you know, this is like, um, this isn't nothing new, you know. This is something that we're, we're used to having this happen. So, uh, I know he'll be okay. <laughs> He's nine years old. This isn't his first storm, you know. And uh, there's only so much you can do for the pupper. So, it is what it is at this point. It is what it is. And he's just going to stand here at my feet. And if you hear a, la um, a loud boom, it might not be thunder. It might be me falling over the dog. <laughs> my concern is that, um, yeah, it's okay. Um, my concern is that the, um, the power stays on so we can all have fun doing our, uh, tree frog. 6,000%, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I want to be able to do. I want to be able to paint my tree frog with my fam. So we'll see how that goes. All right, guys. So if you like the streaks, like I said, leave it alone. If you like it more blended. You just keep brushing over it and it'll be more blended. Now you want this to be um, nice thin layers. You want this to be nice thin layers so you turn around and uh, we can paint over it and you're not waiting for it to dry. And number two is you want this to be a different color green than what you're planning for um, with your frog. So you want to make sure that you're making this a different color green, whether adding more blue to it or adding more yellow to it. I mean, unless you're not making your frog green, you could be not making your frog green. That's totally acceptable too. Tree frogs come in all sorts of cool colors. So you don't have to have a green frog. It's not necessary. <laughs> I, you know, we totally support going rogue. 6,000%. Rogue is completely supported. Absolutely. Absolutely support going rogue. So, if you want to make your tree frog a different color, we're going to be mapping it in white. So, um, it, uh, whatever color you choose is going to wind up popping off of the green leaf. So, think about that. Think about that for yourself. Think about that as you're uh, painting in the background here, you know? Like, what color do I want my tree frog? What color do I want my orchids? You know? Like, you don't have to do what I did. You don't have to do pink. You don't have to do a green. You know what I mean? You could do whatever colors you want. 6,000%. Oh, thank you so much, April, for the stars. Okay, so that... I know what I forgot to say. All of my videos are kid friendly, so I'm going to try to watch this thing. You guys watch your comments. Uh, PayPal link should be um, in the mix here. Um, should be. I don't know if it is or isn't. And uh, the stars are enabled. Um, the stars are a way to send support, and they're a penny each, so you know what you're spending, okay? So thank you so much, April, for the stars. I appreciate that. All right. And what I'm going to do now is this. This line right here is kind of messy and icky and everything else because, you know, we had a bunch of other stuff going on and I wasn't focused yet. <laughs> Thank you, Jensie. Thank you. I went for, like, um, like golds and pinks. Um, 
Thank you so much, Debbie, for the stars. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab uh, the white and the yellow and uh, a little bit of the blue here. And I'm going to fix this line now. So I am just going to pull my brush nice and, and steady and then do a little back and forth motion here to blend it in because I was a little distracted and I want to clean that line up. I want to clean that line up. That's what I want to do. And if you're having trouble blending it because it dried already, you just dip your brush into a little bit of water. Just a little bit of water. See that? See that little tiny bit of water that I put on my brush? And it, and it gets everything to, to blend if it's a little on the dry side. So just a little little dip just a little dip in the water that's all that's necessary and you could soften that line um thank you so much debbie thank you so much um hi my first time in your class your grand oh okay hi hi sweetheart Hi Tammy, I think I I think I answered you like right before you came on um, to be able to find me. Yes, I did. Okay, we're good. All right. So the next thing you want to do is in this corner right here, and over here in this section right here is uh, dark green. So you're doing the same exact thing except you're grabbing more blue. So you want to grab a little bit of white this time. You know, some yellow. And a whole lot of blue. And a whole lot of blue. And what you're going to do with this is you're going to turn around and right here, you're going to cut that corner. Okay? Right there. And what this is doing is it's making your eye, and like the dark one that's up here, it makes your eye go to the center of the canvas. So this way... Your focal point, your frog, you're, you're, you're forcing people's eye to go right to the frog. Right to the frog. That's what you're doing. Okay? So, you just want to make um, another leaf down here. And I made mine a uh, darker leaf just by grabbing some more blue. Okay, just grabbing some more blue. I'm holding the brush here so I can come under here and, you know, do a nice smooth line. And then just pulling. And like I said, if um, you like the, uh, the streaks in the leaf, you leave it alone. If you like it more blended, then you just keep brushing over it. And notice I'm placing my brush and just pulling, right, to smooth it all out. See that? That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. Just to smooth it all out. And you can do it like a little boop on this piece here. Okay? To clean that up. And then you're going to do the same thing in this corner. You're going to do the same thing in that corner. So I'm going to grab my blue and a smidge of white and a smidge of yellow. And I'm going to put a leaf in this corner now. So I'm going to cut this here. Just like that. And I'm going to grab a whole lot of blue paint. Do I worry about my edges? Uh, April, I paint my edges on the originals, on the, the ones that are for display. I don't paint them on the instruction paintings because uh, nine times out of ten, I don't finish, like the painting I'm working on right now, like this painting, I usually don't finish it to the point of being um, where I would sell it. And the original though, the original, the one I take a picture of to advertise for the party, the one that I show you all week, this one, this one, which I took my time on and, you know, got all uh, OCD about, I paint the edges. See, so um, only the ones that I plan on selling, 
I mean, if I do one that's an instruction one and it comes out pretty close and pretty good, then I will set it up to uh, be something that I would sell. But usually I'm more concerned with you guys getting your, getting your paintings to look awesome that I don't worry about mine too much. I don't worry about mine too much. And, and plus we know the whole factor of uh, layers, right? It takes a lot of layers. And lots of times I'll tell you the layers, but I won't actually do them because of time, right? So, um, yeah, that's why I don't bother. Very long answer, isn't it? <laughs> that's why I don't paint the edges on these guys. But you guys can paint your edges 6,000%. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, so we're gonna, whoo, we're gonna take a little woo moment. You guys can catch up mustard, putting your backgrounds on, and I'm gonna, uh, you know, take a little woo moment here. Um, storm seems to be uh, blowing over, which is good. I don't think I actually put milk in my coffee. It's very strong, but that's okay. I like strong coffee, and. Um, We'll do a little bit of roll call. We'll give everybody a chance to catch up mustard. Sending out those healing wishes and um, well, well, you know, everybody doing well prayers and some happiness and some good energy. So we have, and if I missed you, let me know. Um, we have Diane, Amanda, Chrissy, Kimberly, Lynn, Suzanne, Debbie, Carolyn, Joan, Amanda, Denise, Jensie, and Marie, April, Joanne, and Tammy. And everybody give a warm East Creations family welcome to Chrissy, Suzanne, and Tammy. Their first time painting with us tonight. So everybody give a warm welcome to our first timers hanging out with us. Billy took you to, I oh my goodness, April. Why do you have, I, I want pancakes now. You know what I had? I want butters. You need to move. Um, you know what I had? Hello, Michelle. How are you, sweetheart? Hello, hello, hello. I, um, you know what I had at IHOP the other day? I treated myself. I had blueberry pancakes. I had blueberry pancakes topped with, um, the strawberry goopy stuff and bananas. It was delicious. Tammy, with the unfinished work, do you prime the canvas? And, um, yes, I do. So, I have, thank you so much, Joan, for the stars. Hello, 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 Chrissy, how are you doing? Hello, sweetheart. Um, yes, I, I, uh, I just sell my canvases and I reuse them. Right, doesn't that sound, it was delicious and I ate the whole plate. I was so full, but it was so worth it. <laughs> it was so worth it. Okay, those of you that are new here, make sure you get clean white paint. We're going to do, um, how much are stars? Stars are a penny each. They're a penny each. So, um, yeah, when you're hitting that button, you're spending a penny. And um, I have the PayPal, Venmo, and Cash app. I'll uh, put those links in for you guys, too. Um, that way you have them. And I want to give everybody a heads up, okay? Uh, I try really, 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 really hard for everybody to be able to find my broadcast and to be able to be a part of. And... Um, I know a lot of you have questions for me, like sometimes you don't get to see the supply list. Sometimes you don't get to, um, you know, you're not catching that it's a link, um, you know, because it's right on my Facebook page. It's There's no sign in or anything like that because, um, so if you're running into a, a scammer, hi Becky, it's okay, if you're running into a scammer, um, you know, just keep that in mind. I don't ask for, the, the only thing that I do is tips for support. And you're going to see my name. You're going to see Eve's Creations Paint Party on that, 
on that link, like the link I just shared, it says East Creations Paint Party above it. And I want to tell you guys, because I feel really bad, once I start the live, or if it's 15 minutes until I go live, I'm not answering you because I have to get my stuff together. And um, so some of you message me, and uh, I don't get to the messages until after the fact, because it's either after I already started the button, or it's like 15, 10 to 15 minutes right before I'm hitting the button. So I want to let you guys know that um, I'm not answering you because I'm, I'm getting ready. And um, I'm sorry about that, but um, sometimes I'll catch one real quick, you know, like here, you know what I mean, and be able to answer it. But a lot of times I can't get to it. So um, make sure if you have questions for me, because I definitely want to answer them, try, make sure that, you know, you send it to me before that 15 minute window. That way, you'll definitely get a response, okay? Because I don't want anybody to feel like they're being ignored or left out. I just, um, I can't do both at once. All right, everybody? So, I just want to give you that heads up. That's all. Um, Irene, hi, sweetheart. Hello, 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 Irene. How you doing, love bug? Yeah, and, and this way, too, if you have, you know, if you're going to have a problem, um... You know, you might have time to be able to fix the problem. But my lives are always, always, always from my page. And my links for support. Thank you so much. Um, thanks, guys. No, I appreciate it. I just want to give a heads up. Um, my links always have my name on each creation's paint party on them. So please be careful of the spammers. Thank you so much, Lynn, for the stars. I appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Yeah. So we're going to do mapping. Those of you that are new here, mapping is when we draw our shapes in and just white first for a few reasons. Number one, it makes your colors pop. Number two, if you screw up, you can easily just paint the background back over it again, and it's like it never happened. And um, also it gives, you, it gives you clarity, and you're able to see to be able to do your shapes the way you need them to be. Okay? So, um, you need clean white paint, and we're going to map in all our shapes down. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for understanding. I didn't want that to come off as like I was giving a lecture. I just wanted to give everybody a heads up that uh, if you're not getting answered, that's probably why. <laughs> All right, so I got a big old glob of white paint here, and uh, I'm going to grab Big Boy. So I'm going to swirl tap that Big Boy and get all of the color out of him. Oh, yeah, swirling the Big Boy. Butters is going to sleep good tonight, I'll tell you that much. All right, so I'm getting all the paint out of him. The more you swirl, the cleaner it'll get. I click to send stars. I don't know, ask the ladies. Thank you so much, Amanda. Thank you for the stars, sweetheart. Um, the ladies... Ladies, help, um, who just sent that? Somebody, uh, help Lynn out, okay? Because, uh, I don't know how the stars work on your end. So somebody, uh, help Lynn, please. All of you fantastic, wonderful women that are part of the fam. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, big boy, nice and clean, okay? Clean white paint. We're grabbing some clean white paint. My brush is nice and clean. My edges are crisp, right? We need to pay attention to what's going on with our brushes. All right, and we're going to do, uh, we're going to map in our orchid shapes. <laughs> I almost said ogre. <laughs> we're going to map in our ogre shapes. <laughs> We're going to map in the orchid shapes, okay? So they're going to go like in a bended uh, row, all right? So we're going to start with the uh, the one that's right over here, right at the edge of the canvas here. So we're going to start with uh, this guy right here, okay? So what you want to do is you want to make a pinwheel, okay? So you mark your center, and then you're going to do a line up. And then a line out and a line out. Just like that. 
and then you just uh, go on either side of it and fill it in. And it's okay if your background's uh, mixing in a little bit or the green is mixing in a little bit. That's all right. Because as we put more layers on, you're not going to see that. You're not going to see that. This is just to get your shape on here. That's all there is to it. Is to just get your shape on here. So we're doing the pinwheel. And then we're doing um, your oval on either side. And then the next thing you want to do is you're going to make a bow. You're going to make a bow. One side of the bow is here. One side of the bow is over there. All right, so you're going to come out, do a little swoopy doop action, and make a bow shape. Pull out, little swoop de doo action, and make your bow shape. And just like that, bam, <laughs> you made an orchid. Okay, so the next one we're going to tilt at an angle a little bit. And getting an angle on these is really easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, guys, so what you do is you want to mark your center. All right, give yourself enough space. And when you do your pinwheel, you're going to do your pinwheel, you're going to do your pinwheel at an angle, like that, okay? And do the rounded edges on both sides, rounded edges on both sides, just like this. And then do your bow shape, bam, one bow. And over here, bam, another bow. And now your flower is at an angle. Okay, so you can add as many of these or as little of these as you want. And um, I'm going to do three. And then we're going to do the little buds that are at the end of the stem. Then I'm going to do the little buds that are at the end of the stem. Okay, so again, pin mark my center. Make sure I'm giving enough space between the two flowers. And I'm going to make my pinwheel. And I'm going to make this one smaller, like it's a smaller flower. Round my edges. Round my edges. And grab some more paint. And I'm holding my brush like a pencil. See, you guys? I'm holding it like a pencil, and I'm holding it close to the bristles. Hello, 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 Becky. How are you, sweetheart? Okay, and then I want to do my bow and my bow there we go just like that and then for the um buds i'm going to switch to a smaller brush so once you have these in there you want to put your uh, center piece in so we're going to go back to the first one and we're going to go in the center of the flower and you're just going to make a triangle and then swoop that And there is the center of your flower, okay? I'll give you a close-up. So you're going to make a triangle coming down, and then you swoop it. Right? Just like that. Okay, guys? So close-up! <laughs> there it is. See it? Okay? And we got to do the center on this guy. So triangle coming down, and swoop it. There we have it. Okay, so you love those colors, right? So pretty. So pretty. Thank you so much for the stars, guys. If I'm missing something, because so, I know you guys talk amongst yourselves, if I'm missing something, just grab my attention. Um, you know, reach through the phone and, and then tap me on the shoulder. <laughs> that would freak me out. <laughs> if you reach through the phone and tap me, oh my gosh, that's like a horror movie in the making. And I don't like scary movies. No, no scary movies for this girl, that's for sure. All right, so I'm going to swirl tap dab mini me. Watch your video of the flowers with the hummingbird today. Oh, awesome, Becky. That was fun, too. That, um, I don't remember the flowers on that one, though. I don't remember. And, uh, so our little buds on the end are, um, they're just, uh, they're just, uh, teardrops, but on the side. So, if you're not good at drawing something at an angle, you want to draw your line first. And then do the shape, even Steven, on either side of that line. And then you could, then you could fill and fix. 
And just like that, you have a teardrop that's on its side. The scarier, the better for you, Irene? Oh, no. <laughs> you like those scary ones, huh? I don't like scary movies. Hibiscus. Thank you, Joan. That's exactly what it was. Boy, your grip guys are good. All right? And I'm going to do another bud coming off. So I'm going to do my line. And I'm going to do the teardrop shape on one side. And then on the other. Yeah, um, a person I was dating once had me watch all of the Freddy movies. They weren't too bad. But then she had me watch The Descent. And uh, I still get... Uh, I still get creeped out when I go to think about it, okay? And then I have three little buds up in this corner, so I'm going to put those in as well. So, um, again, you just draw your line, and then you draw your uh, shape on either side of that line. And if you notice, I'm holding mini me like a pencil, and you just fill and fix. Okay, so I had a bud there. And we're going to add one here. Okay, and this is just to kind of put something in the corner because it was looking a little blank. You know, these little buds help with the uh, composition. The composition, big word, right? All the parts of the painting. Okay, so that's all. That's why I put them up there. You can put a whole other, um, a whole other, um, Work it up there if you want. Yes, Irene. Yeah, I, um, yeah. When the guy shows up in the camera, no. That's a no for me. <laughs> that is a big time no. <laughs> All right, we're going to map our frog now. So, because this is dry, right? See how I jump around? And, um, right? We did this first, then it was dry, so we could do the orchids. Now we're going to do our frog, because this is dry now. So you guys asking me about, um, you know, letting the paint dry. That is how I work around letting the paint dry. I just move to a different part of the canvas, and then I work my way back to where we want to be. 6,000%. So, and uh, Butters is going to teach the class, uh, because uh, he's in my corner. <laughs> <laughs> Butter smooth. <laughs> this whole video, all you're gonna hear me saying is "Butter smooth." <laughs> <coughs> he crawl up my, you know what's it? I think if he could. <laughs> Butter smooth. You have to get out of here, honey. Come on, come on, come over here. Come here. Come here. Yeah, the storm's calmed down. Or I could be impatient like you and use a hair dryer. Yeah, some people use the hair dryer. That's for sure. Okay, so we're going to map out our frog. And, you know, you can make your frog elongated like my frog. You can make it um, shorter and squattier if you want. You can kind of play around. You can play around with the shapes of frogs because they're, uh, you know, th th their limbs go in every sort of direction. So this guy, uh, these are his two front arms. This is his back leg coming forward. And then his other back leg's coming here. And he has a elongated body. You can make this body shorter and squatter here if you want. You can have both his legs coming out the back if you want. You can have his arms coming out the front if you want. So um, I'm going to show you how to do it like this. But as long as you get these angles in, you can put your arms and legs any way you want them to be. And if you want to round the body out more, you could also do that. So it's up to you. It's your frog. Do what you want to do. Do what you want to do with your frog. So he likes the hair dryer. <laughs> So I'm gonna swirl tap dab. Uh, I don't think Butters would like the hair dryer. I'm gonna swirl tap dab, big boy. All right, I'm gonna swirl tap dab, big boy, and grab my white paint because it's all about the mapping. 
all about the mapping and I'm gonna home side out Take a big deep breath in and we'll sod out. And we're gonna find the center of our canvas. We're gonna find our center. Home, and we're gonna make a dot. Okay? And you're gonna have your frog be at an angle, so let's draw that angled line. Okay, so we have the angled line for where our frog's gonna be. And then you're going to do a, um, a rectangle. You're going to make a rectangle. Just like that. Even Steven on both sides of your line. Okay, just pull the brush and use the flat of those bristles and just make yourself a rectangle. And then you're going to turn around and you're going to follow the edge of this rectangle and you're going to swoop, swoop, right in like this, right? So we're making like a little rocket. We're making a little rocket. And then on this side, you're going to swoop out and then swoop in. Okay, so you want that little piece coming out like that. So it's a crooked rocket. It's a crooked rocket. That's what it is. Once you have that in, then you can put your uh, your legs in. Okay. So my one leg is uh, coming out from the side here. Now your legs, your legs are as long as his body. The back legs are as like long as his body, if not longer. Okay. Like I said. Frogs are all let. Oh, it's warm after the bath. Okay, I can see that. All right, so his one arm's coming out this way. Well, bam. All right, so I'm just going to do a line that way. And then his other arm is coming up along the side of his body like this. And then angling down like that. Okay, and like I said, you can do your arms any way you want. It's totally up to you. Um, that's the arms on this frog. You can do like angled out and angled out if you want to. You can do two short ones just coming boom, boom, right out the front. Like, it's really up to you. Whatever, however you want your frog to be, it's fine. Okay, and then um, the back leg, this back leg, I'm going to follow up my my rectangle here and then I'm going to pull out and then you make the bend okay and then the other leg like I said is coming all the way to the front of his head see that all the way from the back to the front of his head Okay, so I am going to uh, swoop this around. So I'm also rounding out my rectangle here. So I'm going to come up like this, and I'm going to round this part out right there. Soften that spot right there. And then I'm going to swoop around like this and pull. And there's the other leg coming all the way to the other side of the body. Okay. And then I'm just going to thicken the thigh area right there. Thicken that up. And I'm going to thicken up this thigh area right here. I'm going to soften this little curve right here. Just like that, okay? And then I'm going to um, fix the point on my brush. And I'm just going to make this part a little bit thicker. Uh, 
and then have that come around to here and schmooze this part a little bit. Okay, so now I'm just smoothing out my shape and fixing all the different little parts. That's all. Giving them some thighs. <laughs> we want our frog to have thighs. Yes, we do. 6,000%. So, and there you guys go, man. So now the hard part's over. Now we just got to color them in. <laughs> we just got to color them in. And talk about coloring in. We're going to do the base coat on our orchids. So you guys, mine are pink. You don't have to make them pink. Whatever color you're making them, you want to do white with whatever color you're making them. Okay, so I'm going to do white and red together. And I'm going to do a little dab dab. And I want it to be even lighter. I want the white. I want extra white so it covers what's in the background. It covers the color coming through from the background okay so I'm doing extra white right here and we're just going to color this in you know follow your shape using the uh, flat of the brush we're not worrying about shading or making something darker or lighter we're just putting in our base coat easy peasy lemon squeezy if you notice I'm turning my brush I'm using it like a pencil I'm using the flat of that brush And we're just coloring all we're doing right now all we're doing just filling it in with with our, our color okay and like I always say the more layers the better it's going to come out so you know if you're painting this later and just watching for now um, you know you might want to do another coat of uh, white first before you start putting your color on okay so if you want to really have your colors pop you could always do another layer of white first and then do this step and then do this step the more the more you put a base white in the more the paint you put on top of that is going to pop it's that simple so the more that you put white onto your canvas to do your shapes and to fill them in, the more layers of white that you put on top of it, letting it dry in between each layer, okay? Um, if you don't let it dry or if you don't use your hair dryer, um, hi Wendy, how you doing sweetheart? Hi, Wendy. Um, sorry, I was reading the chat. <laughs> and uh, I, don't, I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> I was trying to figure out what you're talking about. But um, I think you're just talking amongst yourselves, which is totally cool. That's what family should do. You guys should all hang out and just have fun and, and talk and communicate and whatever you need to do. So um, I'm putting in... I got, what was I saying? Oh, I was saying how the more uh, base coats you do, the more your colors are going to pop. Oh, the drying. But you have to make sure that it dries. If you keep trying to put color white and then white and then white and it's not drying, you're just going to wind up with a big um, pasty mess. That's what you're going to accomplish. You're not going to accomplish. Um, and then after a while, and it depends on the color, uh, brown does it a lot. Purple does it a lot. Red could have a tendency of doing it. Um, if you try to do too many layers, it'll actually start lifting off of the canvas. So you want to make sure that that doesn't happen. So I'm just wiping off Big Boy, and I'm going to throw him in the water. And I'm going to get out Mini-Me and do the um, color in the little buds now. Right? So as we're doing this, my coat on my frog is drying. The coat on my frog is drying. So I got Mini Me. He looks just like Big Boy, except he's small. Okay, and he's like our little crayon. Because you want to you want to fill colors in, and it's actually called the shader for a reason. So when you're doing your shading, 
And when you're filling in your colors, um, you want a small flat brush. You want, um, you don't want to use your tiny round brushes because you're going to wind up chewing them up and then they're not going to be, uh, they're not going to be at a point anymore. That's what's going to happen. So you don't want to turn around and, and do this with your small round brushes because you're just going to chew them up and then you're not going to be able to use them for what they're intended for, which is making little details and small little lines and um, things of that nature. Okay, so I strongly suggest if you're br buying brushes on your own uh, that you pick up a small, it's called a shader. Um, or if you are interested, I do have the brush kits, which a lot of you ladies on here already purchased, <laughs> which has the shader in the kit. So um, there you go. You guys are all ready to rock and roll. Have I ever sent brush sets to Canada? Um, I sent, uh, when I was selling the, the whole entire kit, when I was selling that kit that had like everything in it, I sent one of those to Canada, and the shipping was just as much as the kit. So um, that's the only thing with sending to Canada. I don't have a problem sending stuff to Canada, but it's the shipping cost that might get you. I'm not really sure um, what the shipping would be. So that would be the only thing. I mean, I could um, I can measure it and find out. The shipping would be close to twenty dollars. Yeah, yeah, that's the only thing. You might be spending more on the shipping than the actual set. That's the only thing I worry about. All right. So now you got to pick what color you want your frog to be. Now you got to pick what color you want your frog to be. And then it's the same process. You're going to do... Um, that was for the whole kit. That was... that. So that weighed a lot. Um... The brush sets, I think they're, um, oh, and I just sent those two out, but I wasn't paying attention. 13, 13 ounces, maybe? They don't weigh that much. It's just expensive to ship to Canada. I don't know why. But I could always find out for you how much it would be before you make up a decision on whether to get, get a set or not. I don't mind doing that. I'll take it to the post office and put it on their scale and hit the Canada button and find out what it is. If you want me to, I don't mind. So, big boy, right? I'm going to grab my yellow, and I'm going to grab my blue, and I'm going to grab my white. And I'm going to do a little dab-dab just to make sure that um, it's nice and light because I want this to be, um, you know, to cover. And um, also to make sure it's going to show up against my leaf okay so I'm doing a little dab dab and uh, if you're doing your frog a different color that's fine you just um, add white to that color whatever color it's going to be like I don't have to worry about the coverage too much because I'm doing green on green but I wanted to let you guys know how to do the coverage if you were doing a different color so that's why we're doing the white layer, the, the layer of white with a little bit of my color in it. Oh, thank you so much, Jincy. <laughs> thank you so much for that. Yeah, I, um, the one, the one thing that I'm pretty proud of that I, I did was, um, every single video Plus, if you go out of your line and you have the white paint, it's totally cool. <laughs> because as I'm painting this, remember how I always say the more you play with it, the bigger it gets. So, he's got like this muscle-bound leg now. <laughs> so, the one thing I want, I definitely want to make sure I did was, um, it's the same brush as every single video. 
So you're not going to need anything else to do any of my videos from the past or any of my videos or any of my lives in the future. It's always going to be the same brushes. So that's the cool thing. That's the part, that's the part I think is cool. Okay, so just grabbing some more paint. Again, holding my brush like a pencil, using the flat of that edge. Okay, getting my lines to be nice and clean. Trying to stay in my lines. You guys know how much I love staying in the lines, right? <laughs> I never seem to be able to stay in the lines. <laughs> are we surprised at that? We're not surprised. We are not surprised. Absolutely not. How do you order my brush kit? Uh, hello, Dana. Hi, sweetheart. Um, on the top of my Facebook page, is there, there's a message button. Hit that button, and you're going to be uh, private messaging me because I'll have to get your address, and I don't want to do that on the public forum. So just send me, shoot me a message, doll. That's all you got to do. Okay, so we're going to go back. Uh, I'm going to swirl tap dab uh, my mini me. And we're going to come back into our orchids. Now, I made this really easy so you guys didn't have to worry about shading. Hi, sweetie. Um, so, the pinwheel is darker than the bow. And the center is darker than the bow. Okay? So, if you can't get the shading down, just make your pinwheel darker. You're welcome. And uh, make your pinwheel darker and make your, um, your bow lighter. If you can do the shading... That's totally fine, too. It's totally up to you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab um, my white and my red, and I'm going to do a little smush smush. And we're going to come in here, and I want to frame out. I'm going to grab more red just so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I want to turn around and frame out where the petals are overlapping. Just like that. And then, and then, and then, I could do uh, some zigzag zoom action. So this is a new brush, so I don't want to zigzag zoom too much. Um, when it's a new brush, you want to do it in dabs. But zigzag zoom like this to blend. Okay. And I got a glob right there, so I'm just going to take my finger and swipe upwards. Okay, and then right here, right, I'm going to go around the center part here, and I'm going to grab some more red paint and put it right in that corner, nice and nice and tight, and then just pull it through the rest of my petal, and I'm going to grab the original color and go from the tip, like that. And then when you go in between the two colors, you're just going to do a little bit of this action. Zigzag zoom, guys. Zigzag zoom. And that's it. And that's how you blend your petals out. So, um, like I said, if you are um, still practicing that and it's not something that you're really that good at yet, doing this transition from dark to lighter, that's okay. Uh, just make your pinwheel your pinwheel petals darker than the bow tie petal. That's all you need to do. So I'm grabbing my base coat to make it wet again and then I'm grabbing my red. I'm going to wipe my brush off and I'm going to zigzag and between the two of them. Just like that. And you're going to do that on all of your flowers. Okay? And now I'm going to um, do the rest of my flowers like that. So I won't make you sit through me doing three orchids like that. There's no reason for me to do that. So I'll do this one, right, just to show you guys again. So I am going to grab my red and I am going to frame out where the... Um, bow tie petal in the center is and then I'm going to just dab and fill in the rest of my pinwheel and the same over here 
Okay, make them wet again. And the same up here. And once I have them wet again, I can wipe off my brush, grab just my red, start in the corner, and pull the red through. And just do a little light touch of back and forth motion and you will get that transition. If, um, like I said, if you need to practice that, you're not so great at it yet, that's perfectly fine. You just make these darker and make the bow tie petals um, lighter. All right, so we're gonna do our two pinwheels, just like easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And then you wanna turn around and make your um, center uh, just red. So it is the darkest part. Okay, and I'm going to do the center over here. Just red. So it is the darkest part. And then I'm going to swirl, tap, dab my brush. I'm going to swirl, tap, dab my brush. Thank you, Marie. You're welcome, Dana. I'm going to scroll tap dab my brush and I'm going to make my, um, grab, you know, make sure I get a lighter pink. So I'm going to grab a lot of white and a little bit of red and I'm going to come in and do the bow tie part. I oh, need a whole more, I need some more white. <laughs> I'm going to do the bow tie part and clean up those edges. Right? Clean up those edges where the bow tie part and if you see me, I'm just doing flicka, flicka doos. That's all I'm doing. I'm just doing flicka doos. That's all I'm doing. Okay? So, same with this one, right? I'm going to grab the white and a little bit of the red. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to fix that piece there and that piece there to clean it up. And the same over here with that piece and with this piece. And around my center. And then I'm just going to flick a do. Flick a do, flick a do. And flick a do over here. Flicky doos. That's it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, guys. And you guys are making orchids that look cool and easy enough to do. So, Flicky Doos, hey Jill, how you doing, sweetheart? And <laughs> we got Flicky Doos, baby. Oh yeah, six thousand <laughs> percent. The Flicky Doos are going strong. And the buds, the buds are um, the bottom half is uh darker and the top half is lighter so for the buds you just want to turn around and do a squiggle here and then you're making the bottom half darker and then you can grab your white and make your top half lighter so that is how you do all of the uh, buds just like that Okay, 6,000%, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So now we're gonna go in and we're going to color our frog in uh, with the shading, all right? And we gotta add his hands, which is my favorite part. You guys have a favorite part of tree frogs? Like the hands are my favorite part. Like they got a lot of cool parts, right? They got the, um, you know, their legs go in every different direction. Their colors are really cool. They got the big bug eyes. You know what I mean? And then they have like these the little web sticky fingers. You love the colors on this painting. Thank you. <laughs> We're doing the hummingbird, Wendy. I love it. I love it. 6,000%. All right. So let's put our... Um... Hi, Susan. Not really sure. Sure. 
I don't know why you can't hear me. Not really sure. Maybe, uh, well, you can't hear me, so how am I going to help? <laughs> Hey, fan, can somebody type to Susan to go out and come back in again? Because <laughs> you can't hear me, so I can't help her. So, thank you. Thank you, April. Thank you, Dinsey. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. You guys rock, man. You rock. You really do. You're really awesome. All right, I'm taking a uh, tiny, small round brush for details, and I'm grabbing my white paint here. You guys are awesome. Thank you, Susan, for the stars. Thank you so much, sweetheart. Okay, so what I'm going to do for my hand, I'm going to bring in close, close up. Yes, thank you, Becky. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the help. I appreciate it because um, I'm not very tech savvy. Okay. So, for your hands, you want to do little, um, just little stick fi fingers to start, okay? And there's four. One, two, three, four, okay? And one, two, three, four, like that, okay? So, you're going to do these little stick figures first. And then it's the same on his feet, okay? So you're going to do one, two, three, four. And then his foot in the back. And if you made this too long, you could kind of cut it off. You know, you can do your line like up a little further on, on your leg. If you made, you know, if you made your legs a little too long, you can cover like the tips of the legs with your feet if you need to okay so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to connect it to the leg with a little triangle like that and a little triangle here so you're going to connect them to the leg with this triangle piece and that's why I was saying if you want to, um, if you need to like shorten one of your legs, you can totally do that. Okay. You're welcome. Um, so I'm yelling. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. So the next thing you want to do is um, on the tips of these, you're going to do little circles. Right, I'm just doing little scribble circles. So on the tips of your feet, on your legs, on your fingers, I don't know what you call these things. <laughs> the fingers? Is it fingers on a frog? I don't know. Anyway, you're going to do little circles on the, the tips of them. You're going to do little circles. Okay? Just little scribble circles, just like that. Okay, so catch up mustard for a second. Get your lines in, your little triangle connecting piece, and your circles on the end. I'm going to do roll call again. We got Diane in the house, and Amanda, and Chrissy, and Kimberly, and Lynn, and Suzanne, and Debbie, and Carolyn, and Joan. And another Amanda, and Denise, and Jincy, and Marie, and April, and Joanne, and Tammy, Michelle, Chris, Becky, Irene, Dana, and Jill is in the house. Oh, yeah. If I missed you, let me know. And a big shout out to Suzanne, Chrissy, and Tammy. First time they're joining us this evening. So, super excited about that. Thank you so much, fam, for the stars. Thank you, Mother Nature, for keeping my lights on. <laughs> All of that good stuff. Okay, so once you have these, um, here's the, the secret, though. A lot of people, a lot of people want to do the little swoop, the little connector web, like up here. That's not right. It's in more. Okay? 
Yeah, toes. Thank you, Lynn. Toes. So that little connector piece, you want to do in more. So what you're going to do is you're going to follow along your line here. You're going to soften where that circle is. And then you're going to do your connector piece down here. Okay, so let's see if I can hold the camera up to me painting while I'm painting it. I don't know, it's a little tricky, but I'm going to try. Okay, so, where'd it go? Alright, earthquake! Alright, so, you're going to follow along your toe. You're going to connect the dot. You're going to bring it in. And then do your web piece right there. Okay? There you go. <laughs> Robin is here. Hi, Robin. And you're going to do that on all of your footsies. On all of your toes. Just like that. Okay, and I have this one overlapping that one. You're going to connect those just like that, and then you're going to see you have these awesome little froggy feet. Um, when you do the webs too close to the little bubble part, it, it doesn't, um, it winds up not looking right. Hi, Sheila. How you doing, sweetie? Hello, 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 Sheila. Hi, Robin. Hi, Sheila. Hi, guys. Everybody's late to class tonight. Class. <laughs> I sound like a teacher. Everybody's late to uh, the party, right? You guys are the uh, you guys are the ones walking in right in the middle of dinner. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna do uh, one more over here. Okay, so I'm going to connect that dot, and then I'm going to do the swoop on the inside part there. Okay, connect that dot, and do the swoop on the inside part. And all the way around, and then you have these cute little froggy feet, which are my favorite part. Um, you know, some people like their bug eyes. Some people like all that kind of stuff. You had a wet, that's just no excuse. <laughs> my, your frog has big feet. That's awesome, Lynn. I love it. I totally love it. <laughs> the bigger the feet, the better. The bigger the feet, the better. Okay. So, I'm swirl tap dabbing big boy, and I'm going to make this the color that I want it, all right? So, he is going to be mostly blue, and a little bit of yellow, so very, very, very dark green, and like a tiny, tiny smidge of white in that, look, see? Hardly any at all. Alright, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on his edges. And then when I work my way into the middle, it's going to get, um, you want it to get a little lighter. So I'm going to start on his edges. Okay. And then this part cuts on top of the leg. And now I am just going to fill this in. Alright, so we're just going to worry about the body part right now. Now...
Now I'm going to grab a little bit of blue right on the tip of Big Boy, just a little smidge. And I'm going to go on this side with some blue. And I'm going to go on this side with some blue. Okay, so around all his edges with the blue. I'm going to wipe my brush off. I'll wipe my brush off. Now I'm going to grab just yellow. Go in the middle. I'm going to wipe my brush off. And now I am just going to do smooth strokes to blend this all together. So I'm going to start at his head and do a smooth stroke just going up his body. Just like that. And then this way, the sides of his body are darker and the middle of his body is lighter. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to fill in his legs. And the legs don't matter. So, you just want to make sure you still have a nice clean edge on your brush, right? Using the edge of that brush, and I'm going to connect his legs, color those in, and like I said, you might need a couple of coats, you know what I mean? You might need more than one coat of color on him, that's okay. You know, once he dries, you can add... Um, another coat of color if you need to. If it's just not um, filling in or maybe you want it a little darker or you know a little lighter, whatever you want to do. So I'm grabbing mostly blue and that dark green color and I'm filling in his legs. That leg came out more blue than anything, so I'm going to grab some of my green, put some of the green in there, okay, and if you need to do this with your smaller brush, then do it with your smaller brush, there's no judgment here, guys, if you need to do this, all this stuff with your smaller brush, then grab the smaller brush and do it. You could totally color with your smaller brush. It's totally fine. You know, no worries. No worries. Do what you got to do. Do what you got to do. Okay? And his body goes over his legs, except for this one right back here. So I'm going to grab some yellow. Let me see if I can move you guys in closer. There we go. So I'm going to grab some yellow, and I'm going to do a swipe here, so you can tell that the body is over that leg, and I'm going to do a swipe here, so you can tell the body is over that leg. And I'm going to do a swipe here. Just like that. Okay, so these three legs are under his body, and this one's connecting through the side. And you know what? If you can't do the darker and lighter just yet, that's fine. You can make them one solid color. That's all good. And then as you do your second layer, which I did the lighter parts to make the legs underneath, I'm going to do the legs darker. So when you do your second layer of color, you make your legs darker. Just 
just like that. So this way you can tell what's over and what's under. See? See the body is over that leg. The body's over that leg. The body is over that leg. Okay? That's how you do that. Eve, you know that some of us have a hard time coloring it. Yeah, I have a hard time coloring the lines too, April. <laughs> You're not alone with that. 6,000%. <laughs> Woo! All right, guys. Fam, you guys are doing awesome. You got frogs. You've got um, whatever these things are called. Um, what are they? Crocus? <laughs> no. Orchids. You have orchids going on. Um, I want to show you. So next Friday. Ba -ba -da -da -ba -da -da, next Friday. What? So next Friday is going to be this amazing painting. Um, if you guys missed the Tuesday that just happened, I covered how to paint sunflowers. So this is going to be a next Friday. Um, then I have to create another one for the Friday after that. And then the Friday after that is going to be our, um, not seagulls, what are they called? I can't, pelicans. Pelicans, that's what they're called. So that's going to be the Friday after that. All right, so what we have left to do with this is we got to put our, um, our white accents on our orchids. We got to color in our feet. And we're going to do the details on our frog, his eyes and his, and his coloring. And you're going to be all set. <laughs> you like that one, Tammy? You like the sunflower one? Yep, so this one next Friday. That one's next Friday. See, and I colored the sides of this April because this is going to, this is my official, official one. Okay, so, and um, you have to name your frog. Absolutely name your frog. My frog's name is Fred. I'm naming my frog Fred. It's Freddy the Frog. <laughs> it's Freddy the Frog. What are you naming yours? Oh yeah. Music's bumping. Okay. So, you want to put your first coat on your feet? Hamilton, yours is going to be Hamilton. The planter's peanuts guy? <laughs> I love it. Who looks like the planter's peanuts guy? The sunflowers, you love them? You love them, Marie, right? Oh, Wendy is the planter's peanuts guy. <laughs> I love it. April's calling her frog uh, Hamilton. Love that. So, if you're doing orange, you have to start off with uh, peach. So you want to do uh, yellow and red and white. Okay, so yellow, red, and white first. Okay, yellow, red, and white. Because orange doesn't like to show up just being orange. So you got to do peach first, and then you're going to do orange on top of that. Okay, 6,000%. So you're just going in with your peach and you're coloring these in. I'm using tiny. And you just want to color in your feet now because your white mapping of your feet should be dry by now. And every time I leave the canvas, I'm grabbing more paint. Okay, guys? So, and as I'm coloring this, I'm kind of dabbing in some spots, like his dots. I'm dabbing the brush. I'm dabbing. So, it fills in the, um, the little round part. So, you're going to color in 
all of his feast, feasters, you know, this one up here too, I just didn't uh, do it. Okay, don't forget the other foot, because I only did three. I only did three, I'm cheating, yes I am. And guys, you know, um, the painting that I post, the finished painting, like that sunflower one I just grabbed, or my finished frog one, or, you know, the paintings that I, um, I do initially to create the events, um, your frog's name is Eve. <laughs> I love it, Joan. <laughs> Ribbit. Ribbit. <laughs> 6,000%. Um, they're all for sale. So, um, like the, um, the cardinal one, that's sold right off of the easel. So, if you guys are interested in any of those paintings, and I can customize them too, you know, just message me. Because they're all, uh, They're all available for purchase. They really, really, really are. <laughs> yes, Jincy. Jincy, uh, Jincy took the cardinal one right off the easel. Thank you, Jincy. Um, okay, so the eyeballs, all right? So I'm grabbing uh, white paint and the eyeballs. Okay, so this you want to do, they're at an angle. And this bump we made was for where the eyeball goes. Okay? So, in that bump, you're going to angle the eyeball down, and the angle is going to angle towards the nose. Alright? So, when you angle this down, you're going to angle it towards the nose. Okay, and, and it, that one goes in the bump. And then the other one is on the side of his head here. So when you put the eyeball in, if you have to do your line first, do your line first. Okay, and make sure that line is angled towards the nose. And the same with the angle on this one. Okay, the angle is towards the nose. The angle is towards the nose. And then you could do your oval around that. <laughs> yes, I'm cheating. I'm not doing the back foot. <laughs> Don't look. <laughs> now, the next thing I want to do with my white paint is I want to put his mouth in. So the mouth doesn't go all the way around. It only goes halfway on this side, and then this side, it starts under the eyeball and swoops around, but it doesn't go all the way around to the other side. Okay? So there is his mouth, and then I want to put in the white to be able to do the blue coloring. Okay? So see how he's uh, two-toned? Right? This nice, pretty blue color that I put in there. You guys can pick whatever color you want. I'm going to turn around, and you want to do the white first. So I'm going to paint half of his leg white. Okay? And then on the other side. There, and then, and then on the back leg, you're going to follow along here, and then swoop it out. So, and if you needed to, like, fix your leg swoop, or say it was looking a bit muscular, you can, or maybe it was too thin, when you do this white, you can adjust it accordingly. You can cover up some of the leg if you want to. Or you can make it bigger if you want to. And then this just kind of disappears going 
towards the badonkadonk there a bit. And then you connect, or maybe, uh, like April said, good night, Diane, have a good night, sweetheart. Um, like April said, if you didn't color in the lines, this is going to totally cover up not coloring in the lines. So now you'll be all set to uh, color those colors. Oh, I forgot a line. The one that's uh, going straight towards his head. Okay, so what you want to do is, um, remember his body's overlapping, so it's going to be on the side of the body, and then you just run it down the leg. If his eye and his leg are meeting, go underneath, you know, uh, jump over where the eye is, and then continue on the other side. Okay, mine are not meeting. In the original, they actually, um, I had his leg tucked more. So I'll show you that. Notice I'm like just pulling my brush. I'm, I'm holding the brush still and I'm pulling my hand to get these nice lines in. You guys see that? I'm not moving the brush. I'm moving my hand and just, let, and just pulling the brush along the canvas. All right, so if your eye is over the leg, you go underneath it, okay? You go underneath it. And I'm going to swirl tap dab uh, tiny and grab that dark, dark, dark green. In fact, I'll grab blue so you guys can see what I'm doing. And you want to make your eyelids close up. So over here, his eyelid is um, a triangle like this. And on the other side, it's uh, rounded. Okay, so that's his eyelids. And then you need your uh, first coat of uh, red, so red and white. If you're making his eyeballs red. And on this side. You can do your orange on your feet now. So you're just going to go in with the uh, red and the yellow now. And you can do the orange on the feet. And it's going to show up because you did that layer of peach. Okay, so you can do the layer on your feet now. So all I'm doing now is, is coloring. And you guys can totally do all the coloring you need to do. Okay, so I'm doing the layer on his feet, just like that. Okay, so I'm going to show you the um, details on the orchid and the details in his eyes. And we're going to be all set because I have nothing else to teach you or show you. Because you guys can make this your own colors in your own way and however you want it. You have the area mapped out in the white to fill it in with whatever color you'd like. Okay? You have your eyes positioned the way they're going to be positioned. You have um, your orchids uh, colored in the way they need to be. We're just I'm going to show you how to put the, uh, the highlights and make the center part look like an orchid. 
and I'm going to show you how to put the details on his eyeballs and we're going to be all set. So if you have any questions for me, now's the time to ask me because I'm going to do those few little things and our party is in the record books. It's done, baby. It is done. So 6,000% ask me if you have any questions. If there's something that you guys would like to see as a how-to Tuesday, um, which is our practice session, 6,000%, you know, let me know, comment what you want to see. I'm going to uh, put in my links again for uh, support for those of you uh, looking for those. Okay, so there's Venmo, and there is da 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 and we've got the old, uh, let's see what else we got here. We got the uh, ba -ba -ba -da -ba cash app. Bam. And we got the PayPal. Okay, so these are the only links I'll ever, 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 ever use. So if you find yourself in a situation where something else is showing up, if it does not have East Creations Paint Party next to it, on top of it, buy it, don't click on it, okay? See, yeah, because the spammers are bad. They really are, and they're sneaky. They're sneaky. So you got to be careful of that, all right, guys? All right, fam? Don't don't get... Please, don't, don't share your info with the, these bozos out there. And um, those of you that want to watch the replay, you were just hanging out and watching tonight, and... Chilling with us, which I 6,000% love. Um, that is the link to my YouTube, and the video should be up by this weekend. <laughs> okay, so butterflies. I did butterflies, April. I did a butterfly painting, butterflies and dandelions. Um, so I did the, um, the butterflies. Okay, and... Um, Oh, you're so welcome, Becky. No worries. And uh, like, and if you got your stars set up, okay, you guys know how to use the stars. I just see the the uh, the stars coming in. I don't know how it works. <laughs> I don't know how it works. My sister's my technical gal. So, would you be able to demo a golf course and or a golfer? We can do something like that. You guys want to do a golf course? We can do a golf course. I can get down with that. Because that's mostly a, a landscape. How about doing a bunch of on plumeria, plumeria flowers? I don't know what plumeria flowers are. I'd have to look them up. They sound very pretty, though. I'm writing your ideas down, guys. I'd have to look those up, Becky. I'd have to look those up. Golf course and plumeria flowers. Um, I've done a couple of how-to flowers. Um, I don't think I've ever touched the plumeria flowers, though. It's a Hawaiian flower. You're so welcome, Chrissy. So the last few steps, right? So I'm going to grab uh, Mini-Me just because my tiny's all gooped up. And I'm grabbing my white paint. All right. And um, the eyeball, right, on his eyelid. You just frame out his eyelid like that. Okay. And on the orchid, on the orchid, close up, earthquake. <laughs> um, on the petals. I just did little uh, shroop shroops like this just to uh, make them pop a little bit more. So you just do like little swoopy flicky doos, flicky doos on those. Very soft, you know, just doing a little flick flick here and there. And then the centers, I'll grab Mr. Nifty. And any of you that send me support and you want uh, your nifties, mess private message me your address, guys. And I'll send out the nifties, okay? And uh, so for the center, so it looks like an orchid, you're going to do a teardrop. Like that. 
and then you're going to do um, an angle in and then on the other side and then fill that in that's like the two pieces that are coming that do that on the flower like their centers are really cool they're a little tricky um, so this was the um, the way I figured it out so it looks like an orchid and it's um, not too difficult and then what you want to do on the bottom for like those, those two hooks that curl in this way um, I just did like a horseshoe shape like that and then this way it looks like the center of an orchid Okay, and uh, you're so welcome, Jincy. Um, and then for the um, good old Mr. Frog, back to his eyeballs. Back to the eyeballs, right? You're going to do your, your layer of uh, red, another layer of red. And then for his um, eyeballs, I'm grabbing black with Mr. Nifty. And underneath the white is outlined in black. like this and it's a diamond in his eyeball so this one's off to the side and then over here so this diamond is, needs a little help here. There we go. So it's diamonds. Oh, now this one's uh, too small. <laughs> right? Be careful with this. You don't want the whole thing filling up as a diamond. <laughs> and then your white paint and you do your life dots. The life dots which make everything happy. So dot here, a dot there. If you want to do a little swoop. You can do a little swoop, okay? And then there's your eyebrows. All right, guys, so you can have fun uh, filling in your uh, toes and coloring in the double color, any color you want. Go Rogue, I 6,000% um, endorse that. The highlights on the little orchid bud right here were just uh, flicky-doos following the shape. Whoa, where are you guys going? There it is. Okay, so they're just little flicky doos following the shape of the bud like that. And then the stem. Almost forgot about the stem. You guys didn't remind me about the stem. <laughs> the stem. Uh, let me grab my tiny brush. You want to make sure that your paint is nice and loose and thin. So if you need to add a little bit of water to it, add a little bit of water to it because you want it nice and loose and thin. And then the stem of an orchid. Don't forget the stem. Thank you, Becky. <laughs> it was coming off the side here. Right? So came off the side of the canvas like that. And then we're going to connect to the other flower right there. Then I did a piece kind of just coming out this way. We don't know where it's going or what it's doing. It's just going out that way. And then this is connecting to here. And then for the buds, for the buds, I did um, the stem coming out and connecting to the one at the tip. And then I did a little piece coming out connecting this bud. So that would be your orchid stem. <laughs> Becky cracked me up. Don't forget the stem. All right, Becky. I won't forget the stem. <laughs> Frogs. Yay. <laughs> Yay. We did it. <laughs> I can't wait to see all your frogs and Hamilton and Eve and mine's Freddie. Um, so on the event page, 
there's I did a post to share your frogs there. So if you go on the event page, you can post your pictures there. Um, if you're confused at where to post it, that's fine. I'll find it. <laughs> and um, 6,000%. If you uh, sent me support, thank you very much, first off. Um, if it was $3 or more, make sure I get your address so I can send you Mr. Nifty's. Okay? And um, what else? How to Tuesday. If you guys ever have any ideas of something you want to learn or something you want to see, tell me. Message me. That is the best way to get an answer out of me. Okay? So 6,000% do that. All right? And if you want a brush set, same thing. Um, if you ever have any questions, right, Becky? If you ever have any questions um, when you're watching a different video of mine, you can message me. I'll help you as best as I can. Absolutely. All right. Because uh, we're fam. We're fam. That's all there is to it. Thank you so much, Carolyn. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. Let me get my sign before Bonnie yells at me. <laughs> Bonnie's always saying, get your sign. <laughs> so I got my sign. And Butters. Butters is nice and calm now. So we we made it through the storm i made it through the rain kept myself together through the rain now you know why i don't sing <laughs> and i paint thank you irene thanks again becky thank you everybody so 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 much i really appreciate it thank you guys so much for the support you're amazing you all are my heart i love you all have fun and go create okay Bye.